So in question number 11, we have to determine whether 27468 is divisible by 63 or not. So 27468 is divisible by 63. So tell me, what is the uh, divisibility rule of 63? It should be divisible, divisible by 2 and 3. Two and like seriously, sixty-three should be divisible by two. Um, I am asking sixty-three. How did you do this? Uh, so we'll find out the prime factors of sixty-three. Three. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Three. Again, seven. Seven. Okay. So we have to find co prime numbers basically. So three into three is nine and seven. So basically, nine into seven will become 63. So if this number is divisible by nine and seven, then this number is divisible by 63 also. So let us check for 9 first of all. So 20, uh, 2 plus 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. So what is the total? So 2 plus 8 is 10. 4 plus 6 is 10. 20, 20 plus 7 is 27. So 27 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 27468 is also divisible by 9. Is this thing clear? Yes. So what is the divisibility rule of 7? We will do for 7 now. Do you remember what is the divisibility rule of 7? Uh, we haven't taken the divisibility rule like, of 7. Like we need to take the last. Last. So 2, oh, 7, 4, 6, 8. We'll take the last digit. We double it. Yeah, okay. And then we do... Eight multiply by two sixteen. We take the remaining digits. We subtract sixteen. Okay. Two seven three zero. Okay. We'll follow the same procedure again till the time it is easy to gauge whether it is divisible by seven or not. So we'll take the last digit, double it. We'll subtract the remaining digits. Okay. Again, we will take the last digit. We double it. This should be six. We subtract the remaining digits. Now, is 21 divisible by seven? Yes. So as 21 is divisible by 7 therefore the number 27468 27468 is also divisible by 7 mm. now now both this is divisible by 9 also. This is divisible by 7 also. So we will write our final conclusion 
as two seven four six eight is divisible by seven and nine both. Therefore, it is divisible by sixty three also. Is this thing clear? Any doubt? 